How funky is that intro? Come on, it's a work in progress. Um, I had to do an intro, I was getting bored of the, the old one. Um, yeah, so I've been busy, but not on the pond. Um, been busy doing other things. Um, just had a break from YouTube. You know what it's like, it's too much that gets on my nerves on YouTube at the moment. So, um, yeah, so last weekend I did go to Stanford Bridge and we smashed Wolves and actually asked the Chelsea team to um, subscribe to my channel. Uh, I don't think they heard me, but it was worth a go anyway, so uh, I'll put that out here now. <laughs> Secondly, um, this story has um, resurfaced again about Hanako, or Hanako, the 226-year-old um, koi. Now, like I heard this about 15 years ago, um, so I, I watched the video again. Uh, on YouTube, and I've um, I actually filmed my reaction to watching watching it again. So um, I put that up there now. Yeah, so sorry, that's how I feel about that one, unfortunately. I'm not having it. Um, so today, yeah, budget pergola or pergola, whatever you want to call it. Um, yeah, I'll, um, this is the structure only, so I'm not talking about the roof, the polycarb roof or whatever you're going to use. But um, we'll add everything up as we go along. And um, yeah, I'm a, I've started it. But um, yeah, this it, I'm not sure if it's going to work or, you know, it's going to crack on. Weather's not looking great. Grass is really wet. I wanted to cut it today. But um, yeah, so I'll spin you around and I'll crack on with this, yeah? All right, cheers. Right, let's see what's going on then. Just got the chop saw down there in case I need it. Probably won't. Just need a hand saw, I think. But um, yeah, so you can see I've started, started it. Um, it's not even bolted down. It's all wobbly nobbly. Um, so this is the wood. So all I'm using is four by twos. Yeah, I've got these in wicks for they're on special offer for whatever reason I don't know. Um, seven quid each. Uh, so I've got eight of them. Um, so that's fifty six quid, and I've got these two point one meter posts. Two of these. Um, they're hundred mil by hundred mil. So they're, they're the big boys. Yeah, um, I've got them for twenty quid each. So, so far that's 76, no, sorry, 96 quid. But, so what I'm, all I'm doing is cutting these, so 210 10 mil, um, 210 centimetres, sorry, uh, cutting them in half, so 105, so it's only, it's only a metre, you know, a metre, um, 105 centimetres up. Now, is that gonna be too low? I don't know. Um, I don't know. We'll soon find out, won't we? But um, I have got more, a couple more of these in the garage. So if it goes tits up, I can make them longer. Um, uh, so the problems I've got, this ain't even in by the way, it's not. It's all wonky donkey, it's not um, It's not set. Um, so the idea is, so I've notched it, notched it out here, so that's gonna be cut flush there. Done a notch out across at the front and then at the back for the next ones to come along here. Um, that's not even. Lips not even on. Got state of your, underneath your lip and uh, rust there. A little bit. Get rid of that. Um, 
Yeah, so the problem we got, I couldn't put these all the way to the end because my my um, beans are only 2.4 meters. See what I mean? So I've had to put them in slightly in. Um, so if you look to the back of the pond, I'm not going to be able to get the other ones in. So what I'm going to have to do is take off this entire shelf all along here. That needs to move along to the right a bit where this little plant is. Um, also, I'm going to have to cut the easy pod lid down as well. So that's going to have to be shaved off. Um, yeah, it's going to be a bit of a ball ache. Back of shower has got to come out and all because I need to figure out how it's going to fit. The last post is going to fit behind here somewhere. I'll have to cut some of that tree down. But um, yeah, yeah. So fish are all right. It's uh, still got full battery on this, by the way. This has been two weeks. Still full battery. Temperature's 12.3 degrees. I'm not feeding you. Um, yeah, so what I've done. Hold up, let me just pause you for a second. Let me get the posts. Right, so I've got this. 10 mil rebar okay so that's the rebar is sitting up to about here inside the beams yeah quite high up but i don't want a drill to drill fatty spiders i don't want to drill it into the sleepers because there's so many holes in the sleepers it's uh you could play connect four in them i don't want to weaken the sleepers anymore so what i've done is i've obviously drilled a hole into here and then only, I've only gone like another 25 mil down, so that's the lip 75 mil, and then I've gone another 25 mil into this lip. So there's only that much into the actual top sleeper, if you know what I mean. Um, hopefully that's going to be strong enough. If it's not, I'll have to drill drill down further. But I'm hoping I don't have to do that. Um, so this is the method that I think Lee Caladine, just uh, loads of people have done it this way. Um, so it's just one washer. I'll pull this out later anyway. It's one washer sitting on there. I might even take that off and just have it, you know, sitting on the actual lip. But um, yeah, anyway, I've got to take all this away now. Happy days. It's not going to rain. I don't know, a bit of sand coming out. But um, yeah, busy, busy. Right, it's utter carnage, not gonna lie. Um, geez, that thing was 70 litres worth of uh, palmas and alpha crop. Just picked it up on air. I was like, um, Yeah, so I've moved that back shelf to the right a bit. Um, she's moved my bloody light out the middle now, so I'm gonna have to sort that out. Um, should have enough room over there now, um, so it gets focus on my finger put that post there and then um, yeah and then the other post has got to be I'm gonna have to figure it out but um, yeah it's gonna be around here somewhere um, and hopefully I can still get the backy shower in but um, it's gonna be tight it's gonna be very tight um, yeah so there's the back of the post so look I've already pre-cut them to take the uh, four by two um, yeah, obviously on the same on the other side, but obviously look how unlevel these are, That's, they're on the wonk like that, so I'm hoping that when the other you know, back posts are in, it'll all pull together, if I cut the, uh, cut this beam perfectly tight, screw it in, I'm hoping it's going to be absolutely solid, but if it's not, like I say, I'll have to drill down further, which I don't want to do, but uh, I can sort this out while I'm here as well, let's get this out. Get these screws out and, and hopefully I can, you know what I mean? I just hate it. Um, yeah, and this tree might have to go a little bit, but um, yeah, I'll, I'll come back to you when I've done something. Yeah, all right, cheers, guys. Right, that's the next two posts cut. I've just given them a quick sanding, sanding down, got the rough edges off and that. Um, just uh, remember if you can buy this timber, get the treated stuff, yeah. I'm getting the indoor stuff because it's just rot. Um, yeah, so 
corner to corner okay just use a level as a ruler uh, and then that's your center pop center point yeah so i'm just going in with a smaller 10 mil okay and then after that get the post um going in with a long one yeah so that'll go all the way up there yeah and then um sitting there yeah and i think i'm about that far down into the sleepers so it's not a lot so like i say if i don't work i have to go deeper but um i've got plenty of these so yeah I'm gonna crack on with this cheers well i've just done another post um so here's what they look like when they're like ready to go on the pond so the posts in the bottom um don't know whether to put some Silicon here, maybe to, to make sure it stays in. I mean, it seems pretty taut in there, but I don't know, it'd be worth a thought. And then I cut the, the, uh, the joining here, yeah, so that's what it looks like. Something like that. So this one beam coming in this way, obviously, what well, you have beam coming in the other way. Um, just be careful what side you're cutting because I'm basically putting it on the pond first and then working it out just to make sure I don't make a mistake because I'm always making mistakes. Um, yeah, anyway, cracking on. Let's move, move, move. Well, I'm getting there, just after a bought mission, start painting it down. Uh, it's forecast sun today, but um, the pond's getting absolutely muddled by this. I have to trim this bloody bush down because it's a uh, trimmy bush. Um, yeah, fish down, what's going on? Uh, I'm not anything convinced this is going to work. Just so I might, you know, nothing's screwed down yet. It's just, you know, a couple of screws just off to stop the wind from blowing it off, but I can take them out. Um, yeah, I don't know, we'll see, eh? Um, one more post to get on and I can see how sturdy it is from, you know what I mean. Um, yeah, I'll uh, see you soon, cheers. Right, calling it a day, right. Um, I'm pretty happy to be honest with you. It's come out pretty well. Um, I was just a quick one. If you're working around your pond in the winter and autumn, put put something down. The traffic around this pond now starting to go mushy, that mud again, and I hate it. Um, yeah, if I just get a wide screen, it's absolutely solid, which is good. Uh, just put the back of the shower back in. It's like my water clarity is horrendous. Sawdust and all sorts in there. Um, should have chopped this down because it's right in the way. Um, still need to chop this um, door down. Uh, probably cut it to about, I don't know. Yeah, it'll be fine. Just, we'll just take it off and cut it all the way down, down there, and that'll fit, that'll fit sweet down there. But um, not bad, eh? Just got a middle brace, extra support. Um, I did make a mistake, though. There's always, there's always at least one mistake. Um, I didn't measure because it's obviously the outside, the posts, the back posts on the outside of the of the, of the support beam and the front. That's more than than 2.4 meters, slightly over. So because the plan was to have four running beams coming this way and then you know spiked, you know, like proper Japanese pergola. Sorry about that a lot. Um, yeah. So, um, but the title still stands because the wood I've got left could have easily just put more beams in here and here and then polycarb, cor corrugated roofing, whatever you, whatever you can afford really. So, um, un under 100 quid, around 100 pound mark. So, um, so there's there going to be a part two, the fish will be absolutely fine. Just um, a bit paid off for me. I think every time I walk past, I think I'm feeding them. Um, yeah. Temperatures are yeah, 12.5. So yeah, I'm still still feeding. Um, not high protein, obviously, but um, anyway, I'm waffling. So um, I'll see you in part two. See you later. <laughs>